right, here we go. It's back. Look, I'm going to tell you, ring it down. Go to the back of the head argument. <laughs> and look, he's going for the first round knockout here. It's the answer. Him. And so, is it because of oh, man. world titles? Uh, every type of time. Right, I mean, Ooh. he's tried. Worry. Threw it. Stood. Said, did that. Threw like five. Anytime he wants, but he just needs to throw a lot more punches. Carter Felix. Hey, Joel. Um, so I wanted to ask. To stop it if he gets hit with that much more. Oh, my goodness. And I, I think Joel Diaz summed it up uh, perfectly. Grit. Well, not only grit, he's showing some difference. Rigadell throws his counter. His hands are back. He's protected both of them. One but, point, but I like it. Yeah. One like point, it. low blow. So there's Rigadell. There's the left hand right there on the side of the head. One point, low blow. Uh-huh. One point, low blow. Rigandau at 38 years of age has the reach advantage. We welcome you to the Mendeley Bay Resort and Casino. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with silver trim. His hard-hitting record stands at 32 wins, three losses. Introducing Julio Seja. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-time Olympic gold medalist. Introducing the Jackal, Rigondeau. Quiero una pelea limpia. Dios los bendiga, token guantes. With a record of 32 and 3, 28 wins via knockout, representing Cuba back in 2000 and 2004. <laughs> two gold medals. Like he said, I've won two of everything. 18 and 1 as a pro, nearly 500. Let me tell you, sir, that left hand with some guy. He's, you know, probably got 500 amateur fights. <laughs> Only his 20th pro bout at the age of 38. That's a hard fight. So five of his 12 knockouts have... And, and look, he's going for the first round knockout here. He's, he's a well-preserved 38-year-old. That's for sure, Kenny. And, uh, but you're right, Lennox. He told us yesterday he's been at the same. He's not, like, gone into different weight classes. Say how the former WBC super bantamweight champ fights more or less. He's seen every style you can all. Yeah, he's there. He's really serious about his craft. He's, you can always find it. So you know, he, he's got a, look, a great left hook right there. He's got those, 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 those type of fighters are far and few between. Oh, those a couple nice shots. World titles. Uh, every type of task. Nothing new to him in the ring. What about the fact of his? You know, Pan Am games. Sure himself, no. He's been stopped twice in his last four fights, making it easy for Rigandell just to slide anything in on him. Now, now, in all fairness, he's playing right into so you know he can be stopped, but he's a good fighter. That was a beautiful fight. He said, "Oh, it's a clean punch," but now they have the chance. You guys can right, continue. Right, right. <laughs> well, let's get back to the fight here because you know, I, you know, inside fighter right here. So he go to the back of the head argument. <laughs> <laughs> Really enjoying the fact that Rigandau is not using right here because neither guy, neither guy has given up much ground. A little short left hand. Trust me. And that right in the pocket, we mean keeping his head in. He's not really moving his head around. He's, 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 and you're right. When you and Rigandau is really sitting right in the pocket with the great all of his defensive skills, that meaning his legs. And when we say, when you stand in one spot and your legs are stiff like that, you get hit. Seha fighting for the first time in 13 months, his last one spot. Ooh, Rigandau just got clipped with a one hit with quite a few left hands. Right there, there's a left hook to the head. Fight. It was stopped after round four. Morning from the referee Russell Mora to Rigandau. Both forward. Well, he can't miss with the left hand. He's well, and he's being warned about it. And if he does it again, three opportunities sitting in the pocket with him. He should be doing this right. Very, very accomplished fighter. For bantamweight division. 2018 had his nose fractured in the second round of that. The referee warned you about low blows. Out. Some low blows are really low at summer borderline. Boxing him a little bit. Let's bring up a low blow again in the. You know, he's taking a point. Him again in the ring, didn't take a point away. So Rigan knows. Well, one of the hardest guys ever to fight. The Rigan Dow's out boxing right now. The referee went over to Rigan Dow's corner to get to the point. He's doing a great job. 
Okay, so Seha had a great last round. Well, and, and that's what I said. Rigadell literally gave it to him right there. Hey, look, you go low again, and uh, we're taking a point. So a, a, a standard, a standing target. You're right, and I think he's around landed 34 punches. That's the most ever landed by. But look at that, Seha is coming. Just how look good Seha is. is. Look at that. Yeah, Ring it down by any opponent, guys, in one round. It needs to move his head side to side. Side to side. Remember what Seha told us yesterday. He's never lost to a southpaw. Well, I don't know how those bodies should there. You're right. He's not moving his head. Got hit a bit more. Like he's, he's dropping it in the bucket, bucket, but he's yeah, probably not of this quality, but I, I hear what you're saying for sure. Nice three punch cut. It's the answer. Him. That's Art Purdy. Bring it down. They've got to be hurt. He may get caught with a shot, but he's not letting Rigandell fucked up or cut by Rigandell. But man, the harder punches are coming. The four punch combination. He needs to throw more punches right now. But look, look where Seha's hands go. They're not giving him a lot of openings. Look, he's running those punches together right now. Those punches in so short, so fast. He's really not giving. Yeah, left hook, right uppercut by Seha. Ten seconds remaining. See, he's Seha's put. Every day, and uh, the training was hard. What does he need to do to beat Jamal Charlo tonight? He's gotta, he's gotta... Tony, we look forward to seeing you back in the ring soon. Let's send it back to Kenny. In front of us, his head's still in the pocket. He's not even moving on his feet. He believes in himself. I mean, that's that's just to keep marking. You know, I'll, I'll... Ring at some point in the near future. Punches. And Seha had a great rally to start this forward to... See Tony Harrison back. I don't think he's ever a style beanie fighter to win. I just think you just got to be side guy. All right, thanks very much, Heidi. So we will, I'm sure he'll try to get to the box. And Seha is just outworking him right now. He's much. He's just boxing this little fight wrong. He's just focused on trying to counter. He's, he, he threw a couple of nice body shots, but they're one old school guy like Rigandell. They make a living off of hitting the belt. Tony Harrison, who's was a great man, by the way. I, I really liked him. I think he's really putting a nice little hurt on Rickendow. He's wrong in this fight. I mean, the man with so much experience in the cup, and you know what I mean. Man. Okay. Well, he, he's got so much experience. I didn't see no hip punches. Eliminator. Four. Scheduled for 12. Couple of former. Not below the belt, on the belt. Well, winner will have an opportunity to fight for. Be very accurate. Rickendow is not used to his last nine opponents. Oh! All right, over to Heidi and bring it down. Seha has landed on average 31 punches per round. Because both hands. What did the official say to you when he came over to the corner? He said, I'll work. Yeah, I just told him he needs to box a little bit more. And so, is it because of, oh, man. The hands on the side instead of right down the middle. Thanks so much, Kenny. Back to you. Much as it looks like the power that he chills. Thank you very much, Kenny. What did you say? Chidi. Oh. Ring it down. That was a little high off the gloves. He's going to try to land some hard shots. Break Seha down. Now it's starting to tee off, but it doesn't seem to be bothering Seha. He wouldn't be hanging in there if he felt he could get knocked out. Affected his breathing, and right. that fight was eventually stopped. You know, eight, nine rounds. Right, I mean, Ooh. he's tried five, six, seven, eight punches in a row. But like, oh, he's. Nine. But Seha's closing up that middle. And where he threw it, stood, say did that. Threw like, fuck. Yep. And remember, we mentioned earlier, Seha's really a, he's really a very technical. Puts a little more urgency in, in their boxing, so Riggin Dubs, it hasn't worked for him, so he should do something else. Well, he's going around it. Anytime he wants, but he just needs to throw a lot more punches. Uh, yeah. Seha's. He knows he's bleeding. Knows. That's gonna when, like it. when experienced boxers see blood, especially in there, and, and did that damage to the nose because you know those uppercuts did a pretty good job of stopping the blood for a minute. But I don't know if they can, can which could put them in commences. trouble to throw when you throw any upper. And Seha. Ah. Ah. Oh, Water Felix. Hey Joel. Um, so I wanted to ask. To stop it if he gets hit with that ah. much more. 
Oh, my goodness. The words of Joel Diaz, Sejas trainer. Arriba, arriba. Russell Moore instructing both fighters to get their punches up higher. Angles, which is important. Oh, he's hurt there. Yeah. Oh, he's hurt. We prepared for a, a guy that got on his bicycle and ran around, but hey, that time, as you can see, the bigger man is Julio. Is you look at look at look at there. Those guys, right here, yeah. without taking a point away from everybody. Rick, and I, I think Joel Diaz summed it up uh, perfectly. Guys, Rick and Dow has never been punched more than two times Stop. in a fight. And you know you're right. This fight could have been fought. Stop. In a, and again, I, I like that the ref did that. Rick. Well, not only grit, he's showing some different... Let's see, he just warned Seha for a left hook down low. <laughs> yeah, he did the right thing by hanging on because he was wobbly on his... ...score, Marcos Villegas, Marcus. Yeah, that... All right, so 58-56, Seha on... This is round seven scheduled for 12. He's known as one of the most defensive fighters in all of boxing. Seha for a punch straight low. And I, again, I like... Charlo, Jorge Cota. You know, it was a very close fight. And a point made in taking a point. If it was a... Seha has landed. Who has the edge, Lennox, in your mind? Yeah, it could change the complexity of the Right, one. He's been throwing some good combinations and, and you know, different... <laughs> Rigadow. Throws his counter. His hands are back. He's protected. Limpia, limpia. Pelea, limpia. The band is supposed to cover that. Now, should it be, should it be over your belly button or under your belly button? Here's the pictures that you remember about that. He was quite specific that. So it's not a foul. Like this? Yeah. Um, these, these, guys, these guys are pushing their head. I think he's doing a great job. And both fighters. If you're getting hit on the belt, you're not getting hit in the protective cup. One point, low blow. Uh -huh. One point, low blow. All right, here we go. It's back. Look, I'm telling you, Rigadell. Get a hand off Rigadell. Get counter right to that midsection. Oh, that was a big left hand by Rigadell with the head. Look at that. Those little a southpaw. When you throw a left hand to the belly, that's hitting you on the liver side. I think he's hoping to slow uh, low, say, I think he would have scored before he gets his hand back. But now, tap, jab right there. But let's keep him ringing up. Look, I think it's a nice one. Nothing happened. Right, 25 seconds remaining. Round eight for both of them. One point, but, but low I low. like it. Yeah, one I like point, it. Low, low. Pulled his head down. That punch did not stray that low. Let him run. Rigano yeah. needs to take advantage of that. He shouldn't have pulled he's his head. He's going to. He's right back to that left hand to the side of uh, Seha's head. Oh! oh! And Seha is dead! It's not, over! Oh! He didn't like the way he reacted. How he walked to him. He is under obligation to stop that fan and protect the fighter. He took a devastating left hand. So there's Rigan down. There's the left hand right there. On the side of the head. His eyes are closed. Boom, there it was. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. Ala Rigondeau! Fueron pasando los rao. Hace tiempo que no peleo 12 rounds. Fights that I, you know, I might get on the bicycle, that I run a lot. Well, that's not true. Got in round eight, and that is exactly what we saw.